Just a short little video today. I saw an interesting uh, post from Dr. Tro, and we're gonna talk about that for just a moment. Hello everyone, semi-retired Bob here. I talk about the carnivore diet, all things related to the carnivore diet, and miscellaneous odds and ends. If you're new to the channel, welcome, I'm glad you're here. What you're watching is you're watching me walk. The interesting thing about this is that two years ago I couldn't do this. I could barely stand for a couple minutes without severe pain. Now I'm out here walking every day. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. I'm glad you're here as well. It means a lot to me that you spend just a few moments of your day with me. I would like to ask everyone to help me out just a little bit. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Drop down in the comments and say hi Bob. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. All of these things are absolutely free and help me get the word out that it's never too late to change your life. I am 61 years old and I'm doing things that I couldn't do when I was 40. But this, uh, this, this post that I saw from Dr. Tro made me think, and it is exactly what we are up against. He was saying it because, you know, Dr. Tro runs a, an obesity clinic, basically. He, he helps people lose weight, and he told the guy that was there, I want you to eat low-carb, high-fat foods, and I want you to eat until you are full. And he was saying that the guy broke down crying right there in his office because every other place he'd been to had been telling him, eat less, don't eat so much, eat less. And he said, you know, I always fell off the wagon because, you know, if you eat less, you're always hungry, and eventually your hunger will overtake you. And the same guy came back into his office a couple of weeks later and said, you know, the interesting thing about eating these high-fat, low-carb foods until I'm full is I don't get hungry during the day. I've never experienced that before. And that, my friends, is the true magic of the carnivore diet. Whether you're eating, you know, lion diet, carnivore, ketovore, keto, whatever, wherever you fall on the proper human diet spectrum, you just, because you don't have that sugar in your system driving your hunger, because sugar does mess up your satiety hormones. But because you don't have that, uh, that sugar driving your hunger, you don't get as hungry. There are some naysayers out there that say, oh, well, just, you're not hungry, so you're not eating as many calories. Well, we all know that's not true. I like to use Rich Rodriguez the, the 40 year carnivore charger Mopar as one of my examples. I mean, here's a guy who's 55 years old and according to him, I'm not there so I can't tell you for sure that's how much he eats, but he says that he eats between three and a half and five pounds of meat a day, meat and fat. Does that really sound like he's eating less calories? I don't think so. I know me personally, I eat between, you know, depends on how big of a package of hamburger I've got in the freezer. If it looks like it's a little bit over a pound, I'll have some eggs with it. And the smaller it gets, the more eggs I have with it. And then if, you know, it looks like it's a full two pound block of ground beef. 
I'll just have that instead of having eggs with it. That hardly qualifies as eating less. But I do want to give you guys an update. It's Saturday. Now this number <clears throat> is from, this is actually Friday before my live stream. <clears throat> but I added up the totals of all of the walking that had been reported so far. So as of Friday morning, as a channel, we have walked about 332,000 steps. That's a pretty good first week total. So keep after it out there. I've got just a little clip I'm going to throw in here of me cleaning up some of the stuff that I had piled on my back porch. So yes, I haven't actually taken a day off. I have my live stream, then I have to go back to the miniature golf course. I've been doing a little bit of work every day around the house. And this is just a clip of the, the stuff that I didn't get cut up and thrown away last year. So it was dried out and pretty easy to, to break up and throw in the garbage bin. So I'll throw that clip in here. I hope you enjoyed that quick little clip. It is Saturday, so it's time for weekly wins. Don't forget to drop down in the comments and tell me what your week, what your win for this week is. Remember, we have to celebrate all of the little wins because we're on this long journey to better health. Even if you consider your win you know, you only cheated twice this week and you cheated three or four times last week. 
That's a win, my friends. Any little bit of progress we make is a win. My win, of course, is I got the grass cut before it stormed. I got those weeds cleaned out quite a bit in the back. I've done a lot of stuff this week. And now it's Friday. I have to go back to work at the miniature golf course. So, but yeah, don't, don't let them tell you that calories. I'm not going to say calories don't make a difference. But remember, we don't actually have any calorie receptors in our body. We work on chemical reactions of fats and proteins and carbohydrates and alcohol. The two things we ought to avoid. But I just found that that post that Dr. Tro put up very compelling. I mean, it, it made me really think. And there are so many people out there that are frustrated trying to lose weight or fat, but they just can't because nobody ever tells them to eat the right foods and eat as much of it as they want. They just keep pushing the same old narrative of eat less, move more. Eat less, move more. And we all know that that might work just fine when you're in your 20s and 30s, but once you get to be my age, it just doesn't work. You cannot, cannot outrun a bad diet. That's what I've got for you today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Don't forget, get out there, be 1% better. Today, tomorrow, every day. Have a great day, folks. I'll see you in the next one.